Hello, I'm Tony Minshall from Teledyne LaCroix. Today I'd like to show you how to wire the outputs of a power supply so that I've got both positive and negative outputs. So on the bench here I've got a T3 DMM 6-5, so that's a digital multimeter. I'm going to use that for verifying the voltages. And then I've also got a power supply, the T3 PS 3000. When I look at this, it's a typical power supply, multiple outputs. But when I look at it, the outputs are not wired together. So all the outputs are individual. I've got three outputs in this one. They're all individual, 32 volt, 32 volt, and up to 5 volt. And they're all independent, so they're all floating, one against another. What I'm going to do is wire that up so I've got positive and negative output voltages all referenced together. Now I've already wired one up, so rather than you watching me wire this, I'll just swap it for the one I've already wired. Here's another Teledyne LaCroix power supply. So this is a T3PS 43203P. It's a four output. What I've done is I've wired it along the bottom here. Okay, so I've wired a common line. So I've taken the ground and I've wired it to the black negative terminal and black negative terminal of these two channels. And I've wired it to the red positive terminal and red positive terminal of these two channels. So the wire here is going to make our common line reference to ground. And so what we have here is when I turn this on, I will have a negative voltage on this channel because this is common. I'll have a negative voltage on this channel because this is common. And because I have the common on the negative here, this will be a positive voltage and a positive voltage. So I'm going to have two negative voltages and two positive voltages. So let's plug it in and see what happens. I need some wires to make the measurements. So I'm going to connect these cables up into my DMM. It's my negative and I'm going to set up that onto the common. So I've got the common wire here. And my measurement channel I'll put on here so I'm ready to make a voltage measurement. My power supply has come up, the channels are not turned on. So let me turn the output channels on, I can turn them all on at once here. And I've set those, I've already preset those to maximum. So what I've got is I've got 31, just under 32 volts on channel 1, 32 volts on channel 2, 15 volts on channel 4, and 5 volts on channel 3. So if I take a look firstly at channel 4, which is this one here, now that's set to 15 volts, and it's set so that it's Y for negative. So if I put the, my probe on there, and I look over on my DMM, you can see minus 15 volts. Now if I move to my next one, which is channel 1 here, that's also wired negatively with the common rail. So if I put my probe on there, I will see my minus almost 32 volts. Now for my positive side, I've got my channel 2 here, which is positive 32 volts. So when I put my probe on there, I get my positive 32 volts. And then with channel 3 here, this is wired for 5 volts. And it's wired for plus 5 volts because I put the common on the negative. Put my probe on there and I get my plus 5 volts. If I go across two of these, so for instance, if I go across channel 1, and channel 2, I should see approximately 64 volts. So channel 1, and I've got channel 2 here, I put my probe on, and sure enough, I've got the 64 volts. So therefore, this wiring has given me negative voltages on this side, and positive voltages on this side. The wiring can be adjusted in many different ways to give all negative voltages or it can be taken off all positive voltages, or as I said, taken off, and all the channels can be used independently. Thank you for watching.